PBS Kids opens worlds of possibilities for all children. Thanks to PBS stations and viewers like you. Word up, it's Word Girl. Word up, it's Word Girl. Flying at the speed of sound, vocabulary that sounds from the planet lexicon. Watch her villains, here she comes. Faced with a catastrophe, we need the living dictionary. Her superior intellect keeps the prime world in check. Listen for the words suffix and misjudge. Late one night at Edith von Husinghausen's house, a stealthy figure moves, uh, stealthily. seem to be anybody here. Must have misjudged the situation. So sorry. Well, no problem. A little later, in an unknown location. I'll be seeing both of you tomorrow night. <laughs> huh. Anyway. The next morning, sitting-ing at the kitchen table. Whoa, what's with the extra suffix? You'll see. Okay. Anything interesting happened yesterday, dear? Yeah, all the alarms went off at Miss Von Husinghouse's house. But when the police arrived, there wasn't a thief in sight. It seems that both Miss Von Husinghouse and the police thought it was a robbery. Turns out they misjudged the situation. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, misjudged. It means to have an incorrect opinion about something. Like how Miss Von Husinghouse had misjudged the alarm and thought she'd been robbed. Or how you misjudged how hungry you are this morning, mister. Yes, yes, yes! Today's the day! Word Girl herself is coming to my Word Girl fan club meeting. Oh, yeah! Oh, that's right. I almost forgot. What'd you forget, Becky? That sisters aren't invited? <laughs> if he only knew. I do know. You're not invited. I know, and that's fine with me. Stop it, both of you. Now, TJ, I want you to apologize right now. All right, all right. I'm sorry, Becky. That's better. And now I think you should invite Becky to your Word Girl Club meeting thingy. What? No, no so really, remember. Mom, that's okay. I've got other things to do. I really don't want to go. Here's what's going to happen. TJ, you're going to ask your sister to go to your Word Girl meeting. All right. Becky, will you go to my Word Girl fan club meeting? Good. Now, Becky, you're going to accept. Fine. Yes, I'll go to your meeting. Oh, I don't know how I'm going to pull that one off. All right. Well, now that that's settled, I'll be in the other room. Becky, please tell me you're not really going to come to my Word Girl fan club meeting. She'd better, or you'll both be punished. We may have misjudged how serious she is. But, Becky, please, don't do anything to embarrass me in front of Word Girl. Like, talk. Meanwhile, back at Miss Von Husinghouse's house. an alarm at Miss Von Husinghouse's house. <laughs> oh, but now the alarm is gone and someone's laughing in a sinister way. That can't be good. Hmm. We should probably check it out. 
And just where do you think you're going? Uh, out? Nuh-uh. There's no way I'm gonna get punished by Mom because of you. But I'm... It's just that... I was going to get you some new snacks. What? Why? What's wrong with the stuff I've got? It's all wrong. Word Girl hates all of these things. Oh, man. <laughs> Did you ever misjudge the kind of snacks that Word Girl likes? Oh, how would you know, anyway? What are you, some kind of big snack expert? You're right. I probably have no idea. Oh, now you're just saying that so that I won't change the snacks. Becky, go get more snacks. Okay, I'll be right back. I'll cover for you, but hurry back. Yeah, okay. Come on, Bob. Back at the Von Hoosing house. House. <sighs> oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Hold it right there. Uh, who is this guy? I am the learner. Uh, one more time. I am the learner. -er. Yeah, that's what I thought you said. Well, your name should be the learner, not the learner. -er. Are you telling Amy what my name should be? No, well, kind of. It's just that you're you're adding an extra suffix. <laughs> suffix? A, a suffix is something added to the end of a word to form another word, like adding er to learn to make learner, or adding ing to add to make... Yeah, that's what I'm doing -ing. Yeah, but you're adding one too many. Like, just now, you said doing -ing. The correct word is just doing. So learner-er should just be learner? Yeah, yes. But learner kind of drives you nuts, huh? Oh, you have no idea. <laughs> then learner it is! to get those, uh, which makes me also awesome. Thank you, Word Girl. Ah, uh, okay. Well, listen, before we start the meeting, I have to talk to you. You! Uh, now, just hand over the diamond, kid. D -d -d diamond Yeah, it, it bounced into your bag there. Oh, uh... Don't worry about it. Yeah, don't worry about it, Johnson. It's cool. You're not giving him anything. Oh, yes, he is, or I'm gonna take it. I don't think so. <laughs> what? You seem faster than before. Ha! I am faster. -er. Faster, not faster. -er. Come on, word girl. Just, just try to take me down. <laughs> <laughs> Figured it out yet? <laughs> I'm called the learner because all I have to do is see something once and I learn it and I've made the proper adjustments to my suit in order to defeat you. Go, oh, yeah? Well, we'll just see about that. Ha! <laughs> 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 oh, yeah! Uh, I forgot about your monkey sidekick. You know why I forgot about him? <laughs> because he's not worth worrying about. Extra suffix! <laughs> Secret plan number three, huh? Good idea, Huggy. Listen, you can't defeat me, word girl. All I want is the diamond. Save yourself a lot of embarrassment and just let me take it. <laughs> <laughs> ah, 
That may have worked once, but nothing works twice against the learner! Uh, uh, oh, uh, you're not upset about that whole, uh, not a threat to me at all thing, are you? Oh, good, because I... Ah! Great job, Huggy! Really? Plan number three is to set up an enormous slippery slide? Well, Learner, looks like you misjudged Huggy's abilities. Maybe, but I won't do it again. And next time, I won't be defeated in so easily. That's you won't be defeated so easily. <laughs> Made you agree with me? Best appearance ever. Well, I better get this diamond back to Miss Von Hoosinghouse's house. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. So funny. Yeah. Anyway, thanks for having the fan club. And please thank Becky for running out to get some different snacks. That was very thoughtful of her. Yes, I will do whatever you say, word girl. Okay, come on, Huggy. Word up! Hi, everybody that is here. What did we miss? Hmm? Becky, holy cow, word girl was here. I mean, right here. It was so amazing. It was amazing! Uh, what was all that ruckus? Word girl, defeated villain, right here in our clubhouse. Here in the clubhouse! Whoa! And was Becky here the whole time? I thought I saw her walk off. No, I was here. I mean, technically, I really was here. Word girl was here. It wasn't a dream. It was awesome. And so, once again, a villainous criminal misjudges the potent crime-stopping power of Word Girl and Captain Huggy Face. And the learner gets some time to work on his suffixes behind bars. Join us again next time on another exciting episode of, uh, you know, Word Girl! Word Girl! Hello, I'm Bo Handsome, and this is... As usual, the player who correctly defines today's featured word will win a fabulous prize. Let's play! May I have a word? Yes, you may. Today's featured word is elegant. To give you a clue, here are some clips from Word Girl that show the meaning of the word. Emily! Elegant means stylish and dignified, like Captain Huggy Face in that tuxedo and top hat. That's correct. I'd say Huggy looks almost as elegant as a certain game show host. Uh, who are you talking about? Oh, no one. Hey, what's that off in the distance? Perhaps I should take a look. And anyway, congratulations, Emily! You are today's winner! Huggy, show her what she's won. An official word girl velvet cape! How elegant! Really? A cape? You think that makes him more elegant than I am? Yes. Uh huh. No doubt. Okay then, that's it for today's episode. See you next time on. May I have a word? Listen for the words embellish and leery. Just another lovely evening, and the Botsfords are getting ready to go out. Becky, hurry up! I don't want to miss a minute of Dinnerama! Dad, what is Dinnerama? Only the most exciting thing to happen to our town since, well, ever. A dinner theater? Starring Mr. Big? Dad, you should be leery of any idea from Mr. Big. He's a criminal! No, no, no. Mr. Big has sworn off evil and is putting on Dinorama to prove to everyone that he's a good guy. This show is gonna be so big! Ah, do I have to go to this thing? Kids, it's a delicious dinner and a fun show with real live people. Oh, I love dinner theater. <gasps> Come to think of it, dinner theater would be the perfect place to perform my one-man show about Spotswick Quisling, inventor of the fish stick. I've been writing it for years, performing it alone in the bathroom. That reminds me, I'm hungry. See, that's the beauty of dinner theater. They could serve fish sticks while I'm performing my play I wrote about fish sticks. Ho oh, ho! Now everyone take your 3D glasses because you'll need them to truly enjoy tonight's experience. Dad, if it's live people putting on a performance, it's already three-dimensional. Mr. Big insists that these will embellish the show for you. Make it more special. Aww. 
Well, I guess I can enjoy the food, if nothing else. There you go. That's the Botsford spirit. But since this is a Mr. Big Show, I have a feeling Word Girl and Captain Huggy Face will be there, too. <laughs> Last one of the cars a rotten fish stick! Meanwhile, across town at Mr. Big's new dinnerama, Leslie, these 3D glasses are another brilliant Mr. Big plan. Sir, they're just mind control devices powered by this machine. <laughs> I'm making thousands and thousands of dollars without spending a dime. They'll even think they're eating an expensive dinner of lasagna instead of cheap overcooked oatmeal. What's more important about Dinorama is that I, Mr. Big, finally get to realize my lifelong dream of becoming world famous for my brilliant stand-up comedy routine. People will throw money at me, Leslie, and buy souvenirs of me. Oh, did I show you the Mr. Big action figure? Sir, it's a doll. It's an action figure! Action figure! Why do you look so leery? How could you have a brilliant stand-up comedy routine? You have no sense of humor. <laughs> That's rich. <laughs> Me. <laughs> no sense of humor. It's very funny. I wasn't joking. Well, it doesn't matter if I'm funny or not. With their glasses on, everyone will think I'm hilarious. Anything I say will be hilarious. You see, Leslie, it's really not enough to be super rich. I need to be adored. I need to be worshipped. I need to be loved, don't you see? You have your fan club, sir. Now oh, I know, but you write all those letters. It's just not the same. Leslie, heads up! What are these for? My opening act is a sensational juggler. Just stand there. The 3D glasses will do all the work. I've never seen such a show place. Oh, I should have worn nicer shoes. You're right. It is incredible. It would be the perfect place to stage my one-man play about a poor but honest seafarer and his lightly breaded fish rectangles. What a room! It's just the dirty old convention center. Becky, put on your glasses. You're not getting the full 3D experience. Oops, how clumsy of me. I broke them. Don't put on any glasses. There's something weird about them. They must be part of Mr. Big's plan. Becky, I see you're having lasagna, too. It's so yummy. Violet, it's just burnt oatmeal. Mm. Violet, aren't you the least bit leery of Mr. Big? Yes. No, I don't know. Maybe I am leery. What does leery mean? Oh, leery means that you're suspicious and distrustful. See, usually I'm leery about everything that Mr. Big does. I mean, all of his schemes are usually scams. Well, then this is the most delicious scam I've ever tasted. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight as you enjoy your meal, Dinorama is pleased to present Direct from the Royal Circus of Poland, that master of manipulation, world-renowned juggler, the great Leslowski. Bob, since your glasses are broken, look through mine. Uh, that's okay, Dad. I'll go get Bob a new pair. I don't get it. Everyone's paid a lot of money to sit in an ugly convention center, which they think is beautiful, and eat oatmeal, which they think is lasagna. <laughs> Knock, 
knock. Who's there? Me. <laughs> Bob. I don't think Mr. Big has sworn off evil deeds. And we know Mr. Big's ideas usually involve mind control and getting people to give him all their money. But how? Well, I guess I have to try these on to figure it out. Okay, if you insist. How do you know a pirate's a pirate? Because they... Wow! <laughs> But this is the only way I can break the mind control. <laughs> so then, hey! <laughs> oh, this is funny. <laughs> hey! Stop right there, Mr. Big. Word girl. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, it's our special guest, Word Girl, and that kangaroo sidekick she hops around with. <laughs> your special guest, and your jokes aren't funny. But everyone's laughing because you're using mind control to embellish your act. Oh, embellish. Ooh. Word girl, if you're going to heckle me, please do it with words that people know. <laughs> OK. The word embellish means to add something extra to make it seem better, like, say, putting on a comedy show, but then adding mind control 3D glasses so everyone in the audience gives you all their money. Mind control? Why would anyone as naturally funny as me need... Leslie, crank it up! The great Leslowski is on it, sir. Thanks, Huggy. Hey! How dare you say I am not funny? Hey! <laughs> <laughs> hey, I can't get free. <laughs> uh, excuse me, folks. Uh, don't leave tonight without purchasing an adorable Mr. Big action figure. Doll. Action figure for hours of fun. Joke sold separately. Thanks again, folks, for coming to Dinnerama tonight. Ah, uh, say, and as you leave, be sure to tip your performer. <laughs> Me. Nice work, Huggy. You should be ashamed of yourself, Mr. Big. I just wanted people to love me and also give me all their cash. People might love you if you'd actually learn how to be a comedian. Wait, wait, I can get them back. Give me a chance. Come on, listen to this. <clears throat> a duck and a goose walk into a... Oh, come on, it's funny. I was really looking forward to seeing something new and different. Huggy, are you thinking what I'm thinking? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Spots with Quizzling, the inventor of the fish stick. <gasps> Thank you, word girl. Oh, oh, I'm on. <clears throat> Here goes nothing. Well, it was the winter of Aught Seven, and me and the missus weren't sure we'd make it. And so, leery of Mr. Big's scheme, Word Girl saved the day and made Mr. Botsford's dream come true. And by gum, those youngins never went hungry again. Be sure to embellish your day by watching the next exciting adventure of Word Girl. <laughs> Word Girl! Hello, I'm Bo Handsome, and this is the bonus round of... May I have a word? Our returning champion will have a chance to play for even greater prizes on the bonus round. Emily, you correctly defined the word elegant. Ready to play the bonus round? You bet. 
Take a look at these three pictures and tell me which one shows the definition for elegant. Give it a shot, Emily. I'd have to go with number two. That diamond is really elegant. That's correct. I'd also like to add that I really like Mr. Botsford's dance moves in that last picture. Emily, you're our bonus round winner. Show her what she's won, Huggy. An official word girl gigantic boom box. See you next time on May I Have a Word. Want more Word Girl? Watch your favorite episodes and test your word power on pbskidsgo.org. Want Word Girl's word power? Fly over to your local library. Tape not required. Word up! <laughs>